Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to another product review. A little while ago, a company called Banggood. I bang good. It's kind of like a Chinese site, like Amazon. And they sell a, an assorted amount of different products. It's very interesting. Anyway, they're the ones that sent me that product, the solar panel, flexible solar panel that I put on my van to uh, battery tender my 12 volt battery for my winch. That's worked great so far. Then they sent me this today. Um, it's very heavy and big. It's from Top Shark, but it was sent to me from Banggood. Anyway, you know what this is? This is a fire pit table that's propane powered. So no messy burning of wood and ashes all over the place. Burns clean with a big propane tank. If you had the proper adapter, you could use the small propane tanks. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna open this up for you in front of you. And let's see how much assembly is required. Man, that's a lot of stuff. Better go get my tools ready. So as you guys saw from time lapse, I uh, unboxed everything, took everything out. Here, are the, here is the instructions or user manual. <laughs> Get out of here! We don't need instructions. Forget about it. I could try to put this thing together by myself. All I need to do is see what it looks like first, and then I could figure it out. Uh, these side panels here are labeled six, five, four, and all that stuff, right? Maybe they all go in a specific way because it's labeled like that. So I might have to gander at it just to make sure that I'm putting it together right. Because sometimes if you don't follow the instructions and you put it all together, things don't match because things have to be put together a specific way. As you can see, there's this uh, hardware pack here with a little wrench and screws and nuts and uh, nut washers and nut screws with a knob. So uh, I'll take that apart. Then there was a separate box with rocks in them. Um, because this is propane, uh, I guess it's the look of like fake charcoal bricks. You know what I mean? So these rocks will be heated up by the propane flame and then retain the heat even when the propane is turned off. So that's kind of cool. Never had one like this before. There's a lid here when you're not using it to keep the moisture out. Um, I don't know how much moisture you can keep out with the rain because rain will make its way into here unless there's a hole where the water would drip out, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But it looks like this thing would be bigger than this. It should be bigger than this so that the water won't go in there. But the way this is shaped, it looks like water might still go in there. But I don't know. So I'm going to try to figure this out. I'm going to put you on time lapse as I assemble it.
So there you go. It took some doing. <laughs> There's definitely some assembly required. As you saw in time lapse, it was easier to have an impact gun to get the bolts in faster. Uh, everything has to be perfect, otherwise it'll be off center, you know? Uh, you have to do some banging on certain sides to get, get it straight and then tighten it again. Um, one bad thing I did see was when you open the door, it has these magnets. The magnets come right off. So it sticks, but this magnet came right off. You gotta like kinda stick it there with some glue or something and then it'll close. But then when you open it, now you're gonna need a propane tank. I'm gonna put it in. Okay, so I've connected it. It's easier to connect when it's outside. <laughs> Let's put this inside now. It rests in the little uh, circle area up in the middle there. And then now you can close it. And let's uh, check out this side over here. As you can see over here, we have the knob to turn it on. And we have the igniter. Now the igniter requires a double a battery i wish they would just give you the battery because i mean where am i gonna go where am i gonna find a battery <laughs> i mean do i gotta pull it out of my ass how about that just pulled one out of my ass see if it works yes i can hear it going click 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 Okay, now we're going to put the rocks in. So the rocks are meant to make it look nice. Also, the, the heat heats up the rocks and you retain the heat in the area. You don't worry about it covering up the holes because it's gas, you know what I mean? So let's turn the gas on and see how it works. Okay, turn the gas on. So I turned it on. It's on now. But I think my tank is empty. That's how it works. So there it is. This is the Top Shack propane powered fire pit with briquettes for heating. Uh, some assembly is required, you know. Uh, it's not like the best quality in the world, but it gets the job done and it looks nice. When you're ready to store it away, the lid covers the middle. And it also comes with a cover. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's uh, video. I'm going to leave a description. If you guys are interested, go check out the link in the description. Thanks a lot for joining my review today. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. from mowers and blowers as a youtuber that deals with small engine equipment on a daily basis i worry about the harmful effects of the 10 percent ethanol that's in your unleaded gas from your gas station here on the east coast as winter nears i think about storing my summer lawn equipment for the winter ethanol absorbs moisture and what it does is it could rust or corrode and clog up your jets in your carburetor that's why I use Ethanol Safeguard with stabilizers from my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Before you store your machines, a little bit of Lucas goes a long way. When you're ready to use your machines again, Fire's light up! Hey, 
If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.